Hello and welcome. You're watching Business Lunch and a very, very warm greeting on the occasion of the Bali to our uh, viewers and also a very, very happy new year and new Samvat from the entire team of Business Lunch. I'm Nisha Podar and with me as always is Pavitra. Pavitra, happy Diwali, happy new year. Happy Diwali to you too, Nisha. We've come back after this long weekend and we have another one. So this is definitely a good festive week. You're just waiting for tomorrow's <laughs> off. Are <right>? you not? <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah. I'll be really, really joking if I say no. But uh, I hope you all had great festivities. A quick look at the market. Yes, it looks like that the market um, is giving up that festivity of cheer that we had seen during Morath and the past few days. Well, today at the moment, 17,673 level. After, remember, opening above the 17,800 level, market Nifty 50 has quickly let go of those positions. At the moment, 0.3% down in trade. Bank Nifty is uh, showing slight outperformance, but not much to speak about. Uh, but at least it is not leading the charge when it comes to the decline as well as a sell-off. Mid-cap universe. That's holding on strong, outperforming the key indices, 0.4% up in trade at the moment. And also that's uh, the reason why the advanced decline could have been worsened, but it is still on the much weaker side to begin with right after Diwali. Well, the festive cheer is still on in our minds, but market seems to be giving up gains wherever a profit booking can be really taken in. Nestle India, Britannia, Hindustan, Unilever, uh, that is the consumption stocks, which are probably considered considered quite expensive by the market are the key drivers for the downtick. In fact, the key draggers at the moment on Nifty 50. Pavitra. Oh, absolutely. You know, like you said, from the top, we've definitely given up quite a bit. It's an over 120 kind, uh, 120 point kind of uh, loss that we've seen from the top of the session. But today is a lot about the banking names and it's quite split. So while something like SBI and ICICI Bank are holding up, on the downside, you have several. So it's something like a Kotak, Axis on the downside, a lot of the smaller banks as well. So something like an RBL Bank, IDFC First Bank, all after their earnings are reacting and you can see the cuts come through over there. You also have Reliance, which after the Mahura Day kind of cheer that we saw is uh, seeing a little bit of a softish kind of trade. What's holding up is the auto pack once again. So a lot of those names will be up for you. And then this week could be a lot about the tech stocks because in the US you have a lot of the big earnings which are lined up. We are taking it slightly easy this week, but they have all of these companies which are going to be posting results. So I'd watch out for the tech space as well. But that's what's really going on with the market action. Let's uh, quickly move on and talk about individual names. Like I told you, it's a lot about banking and private lender Kotak Mahindra Bank is under pressure today despite reporting quite a strong set of numbers in the second quarter. So net interest margins came in at an all-time high. Ekta is here to tell us more about that and how Q2 really looked for the company. Thanks for that. Well, yes, for Kotak Mahindra Bank, you know, it was probably a little bit concer uh, for concern that uh, the net interest margins, which are above 5%, may not sustain at those levels going forward. But just to take you through a couple of key parameters, the NII was up around 27% year on year. The net profit was up around 27% year on year as well. Net interest margins, like I mentioned, came in at 5.17%. Loan growth was strong at around 25% year on year. Slippages were lower, 983 crores versus 1,435 crores. Uh, and analysts, like I mentioned, believe that maybe the net interest margins might have to normalize is going forward and the stock is uh, also trading at around over four times price to book value. Now a couple of brokerages have uh, raised their target price when it comes to Kotak Mahindra Bank. For example, City has a buy call, they've raised their target price to 2120. HSBC has a hold call, they've raised their target price as well. Morgan Stanley equal weight call with a target price of 2215. Credit Suisse with a neutral call at uh, with a target price of around 2000 rupees per share. Nomura also has a neutral call. Now a couple of key brokerage takeaways is that the margins and the asset quality really lifted the profitability this time round. The core pre-provisioning uh, operating profit was in line, loan growth was healthy and however a couple of brokerages do believe that the valuations capture the optimism that we are seeing in the earnings and that's probably one of the reasons you are seeing a decline in Kotak uh, stock today. All right, uh, it's a day of, uh, you know, digesting the banking results, Ekta. So tell us about RBL Bank as well. That is losing in trade on the back of elevated slippages, also decline in the profit 
uh, operating profits of the company. What's uh, in store going forward and what's weighed down the performance? Well, yes, so, uh, you know, I'll take you through a couple of key statistics for RBL Bank first. NII was up around 16.3%. The profit was higher on account of a low base as well as the provisions declining this time round. The net interest margins came in at around 4.5%. But really, the chink in the armor for RBL Bank was really the operating earnings which were impacted. It was down 25.85% on a year on year basis. It was the fifth quarter of a year on year decline. The bank, in fact, has guided for moderate growth in operating profit in the near term. Slippages were higher at over 800 odd crores as well. Annualized slippage ratio was at around 5.16% and advances were up around 12.4% year on year. While the advances did grow in double digits, if you compare it to the other banks, it wasn't as robust as what we've seen. The, comp uh, the bank does expect the credit growth to remain at around 15% for FY23. So maybe it was the operating profit plus the higher slippages which resulted in the stock um, seeing the downside. All right, Ekta, thanks a lot for getting us all of those earnings highlights from Kotak.